last week we ventured further into the ruins with Mermond, Mermond, Bran, and Bran. Uh, we fought a foe beholder. Super dangerous. Lucky to be alive. Not for the heroics of Ergtok. Saying. Uh, found some stuff, a guy in a chest, stuffed in a chest that was dead. Went down a level. And we found the kitchen, it seems like, and then a room with some zombies. And then we ended there. There was excellent voice acting by Robot, and hopefully that continues tonight. Because if you miss, you, you take the chance of Robot voice acting your character. <laughs> That's your punishment. Yes. Sorry, Arlie. Guess who got you? <laughs> <laughs> and I think on the map, I'm the yellow dot. I th want to say Dagon's the blue dot? You're yellow, Dagon's blue, Arlie is green, or sorry, is green, Midori is red, Herman's orange, Bren is the green, the dark green one, and Bren is the muddy brown. Okay. I think I would have got all of them, but probably not Mermond. Yeah. But there you go, for the people watching. Okay, so you just finished looting all the, the small chests in the room. You got the doors to the north and door across the hall. Alright. Do we want to check the door, or should we just go in? Guns blazing. Um. So I'm not a thief anymore. No, you, so. you, you're off duty for that one. Thief, go! You want me to check it? Alright, no. um, I guess I'm going to go stealth. Um, it's a little hard to go stealth when everybody's right around you. Oh, I can't go stealth even if people are there? Alright. Hey, you're just checking um, to make sure it's not locked or booby-trapped. I mean, I'll... Go okay, in can I the... investigate? What do I do? And what is that? Like an investigation or? Yeah, investigation. All right. Hey, hey, Dagon! I can still see you. I can see sure. you over there. Uh, what is that? Intelligence. I don't know why it's epic. I don't think that's seven, how Dagon sounds. Nine. Nine. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I uh, got enough. Nine total. The door is locked. Oh. Alrighty then. Um, and you pick it. Do, what is... How do you pick? I don't see anything for lock. You picks. have lock picks. But you don't need like a skill at it? It just... It would be... I'd say it would be like a sleight of hand check. Thing? No. Okay. Yeah, it would be a dexterity check. Uh, it would be like okay. sleight of hand, I guess. Alright, well then I'm going to try to unlock this sucker. You sound a little different from last week. What happened? I don't know. So I guess let me get to the door so I can pretend like I'm unlocking it. This is the door, right? This little thing here? Yeah. Uh, natural 20. I have 20, Ooh. 7, 20. <laughs> My rolls are great tonight. <laughs> Until the next one. <laughs> yeah, until I need to save myself, then I'm going to die. Okay. It's a simple enough lock. You've usually just a few little twists of your lock, lock picks, and it clicks, and it's unlocked. So you going in first then there, big guy? Yeah, sure. I can't move me out of the way. There we go. Windows update. Anyway. Alright, I open the door. <laughs> so swing the door open. This room is just filled with... With servers, I think. I'll say, is it a server room? <laughs> 
Yes, the Wi-Fi is just shit. It's yeah, awesome. Man. <laughs> I check my Bluetooth orb. See if it's working. It's not. Perception no. is awesome. <laughs> no, it's a room filled with weapon racks. Uh, the I guess this was the like the armory. Century. Nice. I kind of look back and go, it looks pretty dangerous. I'm going to just go in here by myself real quick. You son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, can I like yeah, search I around? I look over there. What okay, you gotta make? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, uh, straight fifteen. Alrighty, give me a second. I'll see what you find. Oh boy. Guys, it's pretty uh, dangerous here. Not dangerous enough that I need your help, but you know, pretty uh, pretty hefty. I don't want you guys to risk your lives in here. Oh boy! Kind of cling around a couple of the things on the racks to make it sound like that's going down. What's going down? Nothing. Not nothing too dangerous. Don't worry. It's uh, I got it under control. Just don't come in. Look at the I'm looking at the door going, well, what's in there? Uh, some pygmy skeletons. They're we should pygmy. help him. No, it's, it's, oh. it's cool. Oh, shit, skeletons, shit. No, it's it's like one that <laughs> That's just... That's fucking is, some shit. It's okay. But all right. I heard those things have, uh, like, dandruff on them. They would probably get you. Yeah, it's not as bad as any of the spores that we fought on the first floor. They were perfectly fine. It's... Nothing at they all. They probably have mildew. No. Get you. Not these ones. These are the uh, mildew-free ones. It says it right yeah, here. I, I, I heard that they have plaque on the skeletons. Well, none of them are biting me. I'm fine. You're, you're okay. I don't want them biting you because at least I have... Actually, I don't have any armor. Uh, just don't come in. I heard some had gingivitis. Okay, as long as they don't bite me, I'm fine. I'm gonna go ahead. As you're going me. walking through the racks and stuff, you find that most of the weapons are all, like rusty. The wooden handles are decaying in spots. But you manage to find a, a short sword. Looks pretty finely crafted. Black steel, like black steel blade. And it's been tucked down and behind one of the, the racks. Fancy. I'm sticking my head in the door. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on? Uh, I was going to say, are they in yet? I'm just sticking my head in the door going, whoa, whoa, what's in here? Uh, what's the lighting like? It's dark. Oh. But you can see slightly because of Urtok's hooded lantern. Well, Urtok has a torch? I have a hood lantern. Yeah, he has a hooded lantern that he found in the spider den. Oh, I, I missed that part. Oh, okay, so I stick my head in the door and look around and go, whoa, there's a bunch of shit in here. I mean, a bunch of weapons in here. <laughs> I guess. I get, can I see the what, the thing in front of me? Yeah, you can see like what's right in front of you and stuff. Before they make it over to me, I put it in my uh, my s satchel thing. I inventory my backpack, and I kind of give him a. Look. If he notices, I kind of try to give him a look. Short sword, I'm tiny. I'm gonna have to fit in your backpack though. It's it won't be sticking out. Well, I'll, I'll try to put it there, but the part that's sticking out, I'll try to hide it behind my back type thing. Okay. All right, I want to come. I'm going to kind of give him a look to. I don't yeah. because I don't like her talk. I'm just I'm not trusting them, so I'm gonna like mm, I'm checking in. I want to throw up a torch 
Uh, do I have a? I think I have a torch, right? Yeah, you should have a torch or something. Yeah. So I want to light the, the strike my torch and light it up and look around. Okay, so you uh, take your time and look around. Yeah, we'll we'll an investigation. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, I rolled a seven. <laughs> yeah, you don't find anything besides rusted weapons, but like spears with rotting wooden handles. Oh. And he doesn't notice the sword? I'm a, I'm a girl. <laughs> Sorry, she doesn't notice the sword? No, I've hidden the sword. Huh? You have, you have to. Well, at this point, he's you've already stuck it like in your pack. And that's that's what I'm saying. Since he hide. rolled poor, or she rolled poorly on the investigation, she's not aware of the sword. Well, that would be perception. She was doing investigation. She was looking at the racks, so she oh, wasn't really okay. paying attention to you. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, I don't really care. It's about how I, see it. I can. Midori I can roll a perception check to see if. I, I was investigating, and then Sario, I said, hey, Sario, there's some <laughs> weapons and stuff in here. <laughs> you want to come over here? Oh, darling, I don't want to come over. Check out all that fancy weaponry. All right, come on. <laughs> oh, dear God, what have you done? This dark <laughs> elf is from... From yeah, a different part of the say, south. She, the deep she's from south. the south. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, mighty me! I's done seen many of these weapons. Oh, darling. She wants to roll a investigation, also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woohoo! She got a nineteen. She Plus one to it. So it's a 20. Oh, these weapons be all weaponry and all dangerous, I do declare. Now, are all four of us in here before uh, the other three are? Well, yeah, Merman and his crew have been like, let them go first and be the cannon fodder. Okay, that's fine. I kind of quickly say as the other guys walk in, be like, play it cold until after they go. Ren will come to the door and ask if everything's all right and stuff like that. He said he heard mention of skeletons? Uh, it, we took care of it, kind of smashed it to dust. It was something like a, it was a little small one. I, I would have found, I, I thought we would have found that one in the chest <laughs> and just laughed. And or I do fancy that torch of yours. Oh, you... Sorry, old <laughs> Rummages around and then in the corner of... the opposite corner where Midori is. She ends up finding a nice intricately carved mace. Oh, mad at me. Lord, Lord. I has done found me a mace. <laughs> running theme, but I can't wait for Arlie to listen to this. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going to be great. I really want Deo to miss a week so I can hear that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I mean? Just... Czechoslovakian or something? <laughs> How'd you make that what? almost sound like it was a racist comment? <laughs> That's a good. That's an. That was an old country. It's not a race. It's a old nationality. But the way you just said, you're like jiggle <laughs> fucking. Okay. So yeah. Serial has found a mace. They all found a short sword. But nobody oh, else nothing. really finds anything. Hey, Air Talk. Oh. I I found me up a mace. How about you? <laughs> I kind of say for right now, oh, I really didn't find anything else in here. You found a useful weapon? Because it seems like it's all rusted and from me here. Yeah, I might use it for something later. 
Point in my mouth. Whoa! Might use it to make up a magical, magical, some kind of wand where I can use to zap my enemies with my magic. Yep. Um. Hey, Ren, we'll be out in a second. I think something's wrong. I kind of tilt my head over towards uh, Sariel. I think she's got the vapors. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go explore. I'm ready. Tell, tell Merman we'll be out there in a second. As, they, as ideally he walks away, I go, so who can use a short sword? Me, if it's good. Well, that was nice enough to last, so I figured we'd... Well, mine's a plus one. Why don't you dual wield? I can use a short sword. Okay, well, which one? I mean, you Dory can. Can I dual wield? I thought you could. I thought you had two w weapons. Oh. But I'm I'm happy with my crossbow. But I and I. Uh, go ahead. I think I can dual wield daggers. Can I dual wield oh. short swords? Hmm. Hold on, I'll look up. I was going to say, I was kind of parking until they moved away so I could go to you guys. I don't like being at, range, at, at melee range. So, well, but I mean, I if, he, if he can't, it's still good enough, like, in case you have to be. You don't have to use it. Like, because yeah. your you, character I mean, sheet says you, you have start? a weapon, but you also have the crossbow. You can still use the crossbow. It's just in case you, they come up on you into that uh, what is it five feet or whatever so you don't have disadvantage and use your sword I have a Which if it's, well, is that That's one my, like that one. if this one's magical or plus one compared to because I think you picked uh, yeah. a crossbow for your plus one when we were in the town yeah so if this one's a good one I'm just saying it's a good option but like I said it's between you two if I was just trying to keep it on the hush until they... Yeah. I, I, I mean, if it were... I'd say give it a dag uh, yeah, daggone just um, because he's thiefy. I just don't want to even be in melee range. If they yeah, come in... If it's good right now, but... No. <laughs> just more preserved than the other weapons. Can Arlie, uh, Serio, use a short sword? Uh, I think she's mostly mace, like one hand, like one. Well, I no, guess she uses sword. a rapier. Oh, okay. Mmm, that short sword looks nice, but I don't reckon I, I'm in need of one right now. She doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Or no, she's she's if she stayed back. I don't know. Adorn, sorry, I'll barreled out of the room. I feel Indoor. like I can't, but it would be pretty sick if I could. I don't know. I thought you were dual wielding, but I could. I don't know. Mm -mm. I, was, I, thought, I thought yesterday or last week I was dual wielding daggers. So Yeah, but, you could dual wield daggers, but I don't know about short sword. Oh, okay. Because the thing with daggers is they're 1d4. Times two, I guess, so it's technically like 1d8. But with the short sword, it's a plus one, and it's a 1d6, and then I'm proficient with it. So I get plus seven on my attack roll and plus five to my damage with it. I don't think I get all that with the daggers. Okay. Unless I'm wrong and Tavik can correct me. No, you can. I can do that. Yep, because it's a it's a light weapon, and yeah. you can use your bonus action but, to attack with the offhand. But I don't, but I don't, uh, I don't get my attack stuff. I I get that because I'm proficient in it, right? Like I right now, I get with my short sword, it's one d six, and then I get plus seven on my attack roll and plus five on my damage. Is that? 
go away then on if I had daggers versus short swords? What would go away? My plus seven to attack and plus five damage. Because the plus one comes from that, and I'm proficient in short swords. No, hold on a second. Let me pull up your character sheet. Like, I have elf weapon training, so I'm proficient with long sword, short sword, short bow, and long bow. Yeah, so you would get yeah, this is a short your sword. dex modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Plus the, yeah. the short sword is a plus one, so you will get you have the plus seven. Yeah, with the short sword though, I don't get that with the dagger, right? It's what because with I'm dagger not proficient, just a regular one d four dagger. Oh, it would be your proficiency modifier plus your dex modifier. Oh, I still get it, even though I'm not technically proficient with it. Well, you should be. Uh, proficient with daggers because you're a rogue. Oh, I only have long sword, short sword, short bow, and long bow. At least from that's the just from your race. Ew. Well, I guess now that I realize I can dual wield those, it's probably more damage anyway with short bow or short sword. Yeah, your proficiency from your class. You have proficiency with light armor, simple weapons, hand crossbows. Long swords, rapiers, short swords, and thieves' tools. Is a dagger a simple weapon then? Yeah, a dagger is a oh, simple okay. weapon. Right, well, then there you go. How do I know how much damage it does now? Well, here's the sword and whatever you can discover on it. I don't know how. I don't know how Tavik's figuring it out. So you're handing him the sword? Yes. Okay. Urtok hands you this finely crafted sword sword. It's like black metal. And just holding in your hand, you you feel something. But you're not sure what it is. Oh, crap. But it feels like there's something more to it. Uh Uh-oh. But you're probably going to have to spend some time holding the sword and stuff to figure out what it is. Maybe rubbing lotion on it or something? Mm. Cleaning it? Well, you'd want, like, oils. Yeah. Oils all over the sword. Would identifying it do anything? Doesn't Sario have identification? Or is that someone else? Or will that not tell us anything? Does it have any writing on it? Because I can read it. Nope, there's no writing or anything on it. That was kind of... I didn't have to roll anything. I just tricked you. <laughs> so, uh, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trick the DM. That's a good idea. <laughs> Remember who that was. The guy that doesn't like people up in his face. So, uh... Like some things that come out of the shadows on you. Get out of my grill! As I hand it to him, like I kind of walk out to just like make it seem like okay, yeah, we're just you know making him think that nothing happened. I'll oh, just make it less suspicious that I should swear at the room for not having anything in there. Fucking room, no jump bunch of junk. Well, there will. How how much could they have heard? Uh, that's my question because, and when, that's why I was purposely saying I didn't see anything because I know Ren was right there. Did he hear? Did Harley find that maze? Oh well, he would have. Oh okay. He would have moved sure back after you guys said everything was fine and stuff like that. Oh okay. I just didn't move it because I was looking up stuff. Just want to make sure. So we're all getting out. Midori, your outfit looks stunning. Where did you get that? Oh, Stario, I got this at the Crystal City. Oh, no. (laughs) Your outfit looks mighty fine also. Oh, thank you, darling. I do appreciate that. Thank you. 
So sorry, I can't ID or it wouldn't help or. I don't know if she has what? that skill because I, kn I know she has like stuff for like scrolls, but I don't know if it. I don't know. I just thought I remember once back that she had was asking about ID and something like she was gonna do it. But I could be wrong. I can I can ID languages, but I and understand them. But uh, if it doesn't have any writing, then I can. I mean, he said you'll discover things if you hold it more. I mean, if you have no, it, that's as an fine. Offhand, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. All you'll need is like the damage Definitely or whatever. Yeah. Someone tells me it's either going to kick ass or it's going to, like, set me on or fire. Or kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> One or the other. It's going to dominate or I'm going to get set on fire by it or something. Or it's going to set everyone on fire. Oh, it's a... I mean, no, it's not. Don't listen. <laughs> so it's a finely crafted a... weapon, so it is a plus one sort sword. But you nice. feel like there's something additional to it. Okay. It's so the rare proper... dragon collar sword. It's a rare. So it's yes, pretty much an has... black dragon. <laughs> nice. Well, I've been waiting for that. He starts shaking in the room. How do I turn it on? <laughs> and it makes it your enemy. Ooh. Black um. So it has the same exact stats as my other short sword. Yes. It's like hitting the palm. Yeah, you know. Like, how does the batteries work? Turn it on. Once you uh, hit someone with it. It has a magical ability of making that guy not like that it got hit by it. I think every weapon has that ability. Oh, but yours is extra, extra magical. It's like, man, I really didn't like getting hit by that. It feels like an insult. So it's like a taunt. It has cut me. So it's a taunt. You hit me with that thing. I don't like that. All right, well, now I'm intrigued. I want to go stab something with this, so let's go kill something. Oh, is that thing uh, a... Like north of us, is that a door or is that a? I think two, it's in the... two doors. They're okay. separated in the middle by like a piece of the wall. Uh -huh. I think it's a stairwell guess... going down. Well, no, I was going to say me. I should ask. How did we get in here? Those we went down. The... Yeah. yeah, we came went down went the steps. Stairs. Yeah. yeah, you came down the or steps. One floor, and below. then you guys made a loop around. Okay, so there's going another way ones. down though. Yeah. But there's another set of steps continuing down. Okay. Yeah. I was just trying to get an idea down. of the... Okay. Cool. Basically, last time we just finished the floor we were on and went downstairs, down one flight of stairs and made it to here. Okay. So we're probably yeah, going to go all the way down and then go back but up. I missed. Okay. So are we going to try to go through these two doors, or are we going to keep going around? Let's say so, just to make sure clockwise. nothing comes out of nowhere. I mean, I want to make sure the doors are unlocked. Boys, boys, come on over here and check this door for me. You said it's... What's in, uh, best it's supposed to be two doors. But like, like to who's... investigate them? Okay. Um, to make sure, like, if they're locked or booby trapped or whatever. Uh, sixteen plus eighteen. Don't see any traps, and they're unlocked. Alrighty then, uh, big guy, this is you. We'll let that, we'll let that brute go knock down that door. Yeah, which, door. which door are you opening? Um, uh oh, that means pick right. I was like, I'm gonna pick Meaning the right pick one the because right it choice. will be a shield in case that opens into the. Well, I don't know the structure. My bad. I'll pick right. Okay. You open the door to a privy. What'd you call me? Huh. You gotta take a dump. Is there toilet paper? No. Hey, uh, um, Dory, you want to investigate? I think that boy is done found Swirly. himself. Swirly. 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 <laughs> if, if you touch my friend, Midori, I don't think you'd like it. Dagon, you're also my friend now. 
So for some weird reason. <laughs> oh, okay. since I see, feel that one's uneventful, I'm just going to open up the other one just to make sure. Your thoughts are pretty. Ladies of. Anyone has to go to the bathroom, go now. <laughs> We're not the stopping. In the washrooms. Yeah, I was like, it looks like it's the, uh, do. No, I'm going to form by everybody and start finishing our circle around the, eventually we'll come to this door. Unless something else stops us. Well, besides all the fungi and moss that are growing in the hallway that kind of fades at one end. I got uh, an eight to investigate this door. Let's let those boys feel uh, it around. The door is unlocked. Doesn't seem to be trapped. Looks good, big guy. All you. All right, then I assume everybody else is making their way, but I'll open up the door. You open the door, and this room is covered in fungi, moss, like floor, ceiling, walls, and like along the walls and stuff, and like partly up. It's like seems like to be piles of uh, once boxes and barrels and stuff, just completely covered in moss and mushrooms and stuff. I was going to say, it looks empty in here, except for it's been overgrown with the same kind of moss we've seen outside. You guys want to come in and make, you know... Let's have a look around. Yeah, can I, like, nudge boxes and stuff to see, like, if there's anything to, you know... Okay, roll an investigation check, because they're now checking items and stuff in the room. Okay, uh, 19... Yeah, you move I rolled some a... barrels around and you you can take your weapon and you kind of prize part of it off. You open one of the crates and just this awful smell just comes reeking out of the out of the crate. I quickly turn around and go, was it me? Dude, I told you to use the bathroom before we left. It wasn't me. I rolled a 18 and a 16. 18 on Midori and 16 on Serio. You guys both, you're checking around, you don't find anything, You, but you each open a crate and just like Earth, a god-awful smell comes, like of rotting food and stuff. Lordy, me. Lordy, lordy. Oh, Earth, talk. I want to check you a crate. Should, I rolled a 14. You should, you should take care of that uh, with a doctor. <laughs> Same, it was the crates. Same thing. God awful smell. Oh, no. oh. The crates. Leave the room. This room stinks. Let's get Please out of here. Control your... You guys are leaving Merman. the room. You can see Merman, Ren, and Bren are just covering their mouths and going, it's like, what the hell did you guys do? And I pointed at our talk like, that, that man needs some, some serious I give him man. a grin and go, I'm a healthy eater. And as I turn this corner, Am I smart enough to know that we've reached the around the corner? Yeah. I was like, oh, it seems like we this is all we could have could have found out of this floor. So I guess continue down more. Sounds good to me. If this if this building follows any kind of logic. There should be some kind of uh, bathroom on the next floor in the same position as the one on this floor, unless the piping went through some other direction and there would be some kind of fixed barrier between the ceiling joist and the floor joist between the top and bottom floor. But we'll find out. <laughs> I look at like, who's Joyce? <laughs> And why is she still in here? Okay, new map. Okay, go to the next... I want to see what the next floor is. Midori, I love the way you've done your hair. Is that some kind of special 
Crystal City design. Oh, yes. That's the way we all do it over in Crystal City. I like the way you do your hair, too, Sario. You're so pretty, and I like the way you you walk around, and it's almost like like you're floating on the air. I'm sorry, no. viewers, but I am not switching between Sario and Midori's characters for these conversations. What are you doing on on the stream? Are you switching like not like, when you're talking like that, but when like we're doing an action or something, I put up the character, or at least try to make the best. <laughs> not for these conversations, because I'd be I need to hotkey it, which I don't think you can do very easily. And is that is that a what kind of loot is that you have there, Mindori? Oh, that's a special crystal city design made out of uh, uh, some of the crystals that we grow in our in our crystal forge. Mmm. The, the okay. harmonics. You guys descend down the stairs, and you come into a hallway, and there's a door like just to, like five feet away from the end of the stairs goes right did you link the new map yeah. it's in Discord chat. oh this this floor doesn't follow any logical building construction designs oh this must be magic <laughs> <laughs> well uh Dagon, if you want to check this door Yep. And this door is obviously a lot sturdier than the other door you got. It's fully made out of metal. Ooh. And rusty, and there's lichen growing on parts of the rough stuff. Like I the rest of the like there's there's moss growing here, but there isn't really any significant large amount of mushrooms. I got a nine total to check the door. The door is locked, but it doesn't seem like it's trapped. Uh, let's open this fool then. Okay, make a sleight of hand check. Remember to add your proficiency bonus because you are proficient in thieves tools. Actually, yeah, it would be just a straight. X. Wow, natural 20, really. <laughs> okay. It takes you a little while, but you manage to cure, find, click, and the door seems to be unlocked now. I'm so going to die one of these times. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to roll a one. All right, big guy, it's open. All right, then I will open the door. Uh oh. Take a step in. You seem to have entered but like a bunch of prison cells. Oh snap. I kinda turn back and say that looks like it's a holding cell area and you guys wanna join me and I kinda start heading over towards the One's in the top right there to just start seeing if there's anything in each cell. Okay. You can't really tell if anything's in the cell. They're all they're covered in moss and fungi and stuff. But the top cell, top two cells that you look at, seems to be just completely empty and just covered in moss, and the bars are all rusty and stuff. So to the north here is just a wall, right? Yeah, north is just a solid stone wall with the light games and the mushrooms are growing on it. All right, well, if it looks pretty uneventful there, I'll go to the southern, the south ones and see if there's anything in there. Okay. Um, the three closest to where you entered are same, like empty, but in the last one, the, the far corner, you don't can't tell what's there, but there's just like a mound in the middle of the floor. Ugh. It's covered in moss and fungi. Yeah. Bag on. Get ready. Uh, 
get my shore bow ready just in case. Now, are these pretty but, weakened bars, you said? Yeah, they seem to be. They're rusty, at least all on the outside. Boys, what, what have you found? It looks like there's something in here, in this one cell. Alright, so clearly there's got to be a door to it, right? So I'm going to try to, like, kind of either, like, pull the door off. Or at least one side of it so it opens. Okay. Roll a strength check. Wouldn't be, like, athletics. <laughs> Everything is athletics. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, so what is that, Sorry. Alex? Yeah, it is. Alex. Sorry. Nice. All right, then 16. Mm, you grip the bars and you're trying to think. Bend a little bit, but not enough to give you any room to... Stroke well, the they, bars. They're rusty on the outside. They seem to be still pretty solid in the center. Change your grip and stroke them up and down. That's how you grab them. I go... Sorry, y'all, that weapon you picked up, did you feel some kind of weird energy from it? Not yet, and I haven't installed the proper component. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. What have I done? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I have not said anything that has been literal. Uh, I'm going to give it one more try, and then I'll... I don't know. Change your grip. <laughs> Use both hands. I was using both hands. <laughs> so I guess another athletics. Mm -hmm. That one's better. It's a 25. Because this time you managed to bend the bars enough that you can squeeze in. Oh, that mm. we can squeeze in. Okay, I open the door. Someone else gets to go in. <laughs> I recommend Merman. Merman's not even in the room with you. Okay, Merman. Send, send the small one. I'm the I'm the tiny elf. I, I, I can get in there. I'm the halfling. I can go. Okay. All right. You've a person thing. I'm gonna go in there and look around. You go stand away from me. Don't get near me. Oh, me? Yeah. Go over there. Go over there, where Sario is. Uh... Alright, I'm all the way back here, but I would assume you'd want part of the heavy hitters to be near you if that thing comes Yeah, alive. okay. Well, you come come over here when after I figure out all this stuff. So Hold on. Uh, Sario, why don't you come over here? Come over here, my good friend, and dag on my good friend from last week. Why don't you come over here also near me? That's my fine. I'm best friends with Ren. He's awesome. Oh, Midori, I like the way your hair moves when you walk. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm over here. I'm gonna go into wh which way am I going? You're going south yeah. into that yeah. one that's in the, the yeah. corner. So the whole earth talk made right. enough to, for him to fill it, slip in. You easily just step right through. And all there is is a mound of moss, something covered in moss and fungi. Uh, Sarah, there's a bunch of stinky, poopy head moss over here, and I don't like it. But uh, yeah, I I'm gonna, that. I wanted you guys to look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig around through there. I'm gonna use my rapier. I'm gonna pull out my rapier and start moving the moss and fungus with it, and be ready if anything comes to attack me. Because I've already got the rapier in my hand, and I'm I'm just poking around with the rapier. All right. Okay, as so you're poking on the rapier, you're your ting ting ting. Hmm. There's a little think think think. Maybe it's a robot. Mmm, that would be cool. So, let me investigate this. So what? I want to move all the stuff out of the way and check, check the. Okay. You, you using your hands now to peel off the chunks of moss and stuff. 
Okay, I'll use my hand. But I'll use one hand, and I still got my rapier. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Not both you, hands. You wanna, fingers brush up again. What seems to be a suit of rusty armor. And as you keep uncovering more moss, your hand hits bone. Ugh. Lucky. Mm. There seems to be a. So I, I yell back. There seems to be a dead guy in here. I got some armor and some bone. So. So mushy. You know, I don't know how. Is it like dry bone or is it like mushy bone, like with some slimy stuff on it? It's. Well, it's damp, but it's not. There's no flesh or anything on it, or remnants of flesh. Mm. But it's damp from being covered in the moss and the fun giant stuff. Old body. I'm gonna what? What investigate perception to search it for anything valuable? Uh, the investigation. Okay, I'll we'll roll that. Ah, crap. Got a seven. Why do I keep getting sevens today? I don't know what's. So <laughs> you go through things. You kind of at one point grab the, what would be the back, like the neck of the armor, and you lift up the the skull. Comes tumbling out, but you don't seem to find anything. Hmm. I didn't find it. I didn't find anything on the corpse. I don't know. If this place is worth anything. So I'm going to step away and ask if anyone else wants to search or something. No, I think we got it pretty covered. So this is just uh, jail remnants for... Um, Anybody need? Uh, does anyone need any rusty old armor or anything? <laughs> I don't think so. And I pop back out and tell Pass. him that looks like it was just a prison cells with a uh, corpse in one of them. So are these? Is this like a hallway? Like there's nothing on the other side? Well, it leads down farther. Okay. It goes south. I start to head south. And like the other hallways, you find another hallway going along the whole wall. Well, I say we keep going counterclockwise, because that's the way we've been going. Good? Sure. We'll let those brutes investigate in front of us. You know, her character is a tanky character, too. More so than I am. Yeah, but I'm all pretty. You're not pretty. Did we reach the end? Well, you come turn around saying, like, the other hallways and stuff, there's more fungi and mushrooms growing off, and as you turn the corner, you find there are two doors, one at the far end, one on one close to you. I kind of look at this door as I'm waiting for a Dagon, but is it like a metal door, or is it like a wood door? Like... It's made out of, like, the upper floor. It's iron band at the top and bottom of the door. Wood at the center. slimy to the touch. There's some few mushrooms growing off the side of it. Uh, I guess I'm going to investigate it. Uh, 68, 18. Intelligence, right? Yeah. 18. Door doesn't seem to be trapped, and it's unlocked. Have at it, yo. Alright, uh, we'll go through the door. You step open the in. door and you step in. There's a table in front of you. There seems to be a few broken chairs through the room. And to your right is like, seems to be like a couch or a sofa or something but it's kind of really beaten up and leaning and covered in mushrooms and stuff. 
Um, I just want to kind of look. Is there anything on the table or anything like that? Doesn't appear to be. Anything of note. Well, kind of pop back out and say there's really nothing in there. Kind of just broken furniture and uh, fungus touched cow couch. Yummy. Uh, Midori says, mm, I think we should investigate that a little bit more. I, just in case you missed anything. And then I mm-hmm. turn to Sario and say, that dumbass, he doesn't fucking... Do I hear she, that? I, <laughs> I'm whispering, I'm whispering, right? She's right next to me. She, I'm just asking if I hear it. You got super sensitive ears. How how far are you from me? What what is that? One one is one grid. One block is five feet. Uh, well, so I mean, you're like, was I was I there when you started whispering? Because I felt like I was just uh, walking out the door. I was waiting until you were over there by the the stairs over there. All right. Well, so, yeah, you probably means. wouldn't have heard that. Okay, but though, did I hear the you, that they wanted to investigate it more, or just none of it? Well, I said he like, waited till you were. Well, that's why he whispered there, the so. thing, but he's. It sounded like he said the other part. Oh, okay, the first part. I said it. I want to. I want to investigate. Also, and then, and then I. What did I say again? <laughs> you started like or something. Yeah. Okay, so and maybe then, you heard the investigate part. Okay, then I was like, well, by all means, we'll. We'll continue onward and. If you find something, let us know. I'm going to roll two investigations here. Yeah, Merman and his group are just going to continue walking past the room. Shit. Uh, Bryn's looking particularly bored. Merman's just glancing about the hallway. I rolled a ten and a four, so I I don't think I found anything. (laughs) Sure, there's nothing in the room. Besides what was there. (laughs) <laughs> Found I kind of agree I'm starting to get bored of the thing like because it just seems like it's the same thing after more like more and so so I'm not even going to wait for Dagon I'm just going to try to open the door okay the, the door is unlocked All right, oh here comes the ancient dragon <laughs>